Alright, what's going on, y'all? This is the rogues list that was just used this past weekend by Arnie Hushenbeth to win the Call Time Championships in Standard. Uh, there's nothing here really unusual. It's a pretty standard uh, rogues list. We have the core of uh, these 20 cards here with Wind Robbers, Ruin Crabs, Thieves Guild Enforcers, Drown in the Lock, and Thought Thieves. Uh, running the full four into the stories and two of one mines to draw cards. We've got a little bit more counter action with didn't say please and mystical dispute and disdainful stroke. And a little bit of removal with eliminate and heartless act. In the sideboard we've got crippling fear for the aggro matchups where that's helpful. Skyclave shade when our opponent is milling us or they have a lot of kill spells. And a couple other spells to interact in certain places and of course two Agonyms Awakening so if they kill all our creatures we do have some way to come back. Uh, we're gonna try this out in best of one for today and we'll see how it goes. Two counter spells against Yorian is pretty good. Don't have any creatures, but I think it's keepable. Don't need any more land, please. possible I should have held the Triumph to cycle. Don't want to buy Luris just to discard it here, so we'll try and counter our opponent's play. Our opponent has no play. Interesting. Uh, still not buying Luris. They'll do something eventually that we want to counter. has to discard. Lovely. Oh, they play Serpents. Spicy. Uh, we'll keep that on top. Still think every card counts. Uh, I think... Alright, and our opponent doesn't want to play after missing so many land drops and having their Tome probably countered. That's fair. Missing land drops in best of one makes it for a horrible experience. Once again, no creatures, but didn't say please can turn on our drowns, and maybe we can scry our way to a creature here. I also don't think I'll turn down an untapped land. Just without one, we won't be able to didn't say please on three, and then our whole plan kind of falls apart here. Okay. We get to counter a love struck beast on three, that's fine by me. Ah, straight gruel. Interesting. Uh, I think we go for the crab here. Since that can also turn on our drown. Now we can counter the love struck beast or kill the brush fire if we deem that necessary. Looks like it's the Fabled Passage, so we will be killing the Brushfire. I'll let them get to damage. There's no need to be too hasty killing the Brushfire. I doubt they run Fling or anything like that. Mm. 
might just counter this stomp actually. This bone crusher is a pain to deal with. We can take five. And mill them a lot here. Now our end of the story is turned on. Tapped land, okay. I will again block the one one. There will be bigger threats than the brush fire here. No. And we'll go ahead and fetch now. Doesn't really matter what color we get with two duels on board and a pathway here. We'd probably just of one mind here and hold up Drown. That seems good. Let's see what we draw off this first. Okay, that's pretty good. Now if we don't drown, we still have good plays. This Thieves Guild Enforcer can ambush the brush fire. They go to combat without doing anything here. We need to save our drown for a possible ember cleave, I think. Okay, love struck beast. That's fine. If they attack with this 1 1, we might actually just eat it here. I guess Thieves Guild Enforcer gets more mill triggers. If they have a third stomp, I guess I can't really say I'll be surprised. Uh, let's kill the brush fire. Third stomp it is, but they kill our crab rather than saving their brush fire. Interesting. I think we end the story here and try to get a land, or we could play all three of these, which is pretty strong. Yeah, that's fine. Enforcer can trade with their Love Struck Beast. Thought Thief can eat whatever other creature they put down. Okay, that's a counter. That's too easy. I think I protect my life total here. We don't need to be that aggressive. We have end of the story. Nice. Did you play the crab or the second thought thief here? I think it's the thought thief. Crab can't block anything they have with haste anyway. The opponent has another land. They're debating whether to play it. Be a mammoth, could be a shatter skull. They might play one of the others, but it's less likely, I think. Shatter skull. Eliminate is an absolutely brutal draw here for us. So I think we can 
crab by Lyris, and then either eliminate or dispute. We'll probably mill them out before we can kill them here, but that's fine. Whoops, forgot to buy Lyris. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you can have an Eddie, and I'll just mill you out faster. Do they have cleave? Yes, they do. Okay. Uh, I should have disputed that. Oh well, that's fine. Now we can Luris and get a Thieves Guild Enforcer or a Crab. I think that's good. I don't think anything they top deck will be that brutal. Uh, Enforcer's a more effective blocker. Uh, only attack with one Thought Thief because we're going for the mill rather than the kill. And it's the same number of mill triggers either way. Rusting Beast is a good draw, but they don't have quite enough mana to also put their Ember Cleave on. So, kill Questing Beast, eat Eddie, uh, trade here. That should be game. Yep. Good stuff. Who's next? Oh, we have creatures in our opening hand. No black source. I think we'll find one on the draw, though. Opponent on mono white. Okay. Let's see if they have the Aspirant. Daxos. That means they probably don't attack with their bounty here. Still no black land, but any land is better than no land. Next turn we have didn't say please up, it might be too late. Oh, our opponent misses a land, never mind. Didn't say please is fine. They might just equip the Sword of the Realms. Which would be annoying, but then we could trade our Wind Rubber for their whole turn, which isn't that bad. I don't think we have one mind here. So if they're if we expect them to equip the sword, then we should have one mind. But once we get a thought thief down, all right, we'll let them have their fun for a little while. I we'll plan to hopefully counter their play here, and then we can play our thought thief next turn. Savior. If that's their only play. That's fine. And then they equip the sword, yeah. Possibly should have countered the savior there.
what does mono white even have to disdainful stroke not much right it's just halvar if they play it oh they do play halvar of course this is halvar but they have to have a second one second wind robber is a pretty good draw here i think we'll happily trade those for the tempo of putting alcide back in their hand Or killing a dog. Either way. Righteous Valkyrie. Okay. That's scary if they get there Let's see I expect them to sacrifice the dog here anyway so I'm gonna block the Daxos yeah Let's see eliminate here hits Valkyrie and then we hold up didn't say please I think See and attacking with the thought thief here turns on our wind robber, which is good. Another savior, huh? Made the mistake of not countering that last time. I think we go for it here. Redain is fine. We don't have into the story in hand. Take the draw. Dispute. Let's see. Crab with no land is not ideal. Uh, we could Thieves Guild, but then we can't both Dispute and Drown. Well, all of this can be done at instant speed, and we're not playing the Crab, so we just pass. I think we can start playing defensively here. Okay. Let's fire this off on the Redain, see if they protect it. Yep. Uh, question is, do we Thieves Guild to kill their Daxos, or do we Mystical Dispute their play? I think killing Daxos here is good. They have something which holds priority. It might be a giant killer. Nope, no giant killer. I think they would have played it there if they had it. L seed comes back. There's the land for our crab. Does it do anything though? Or do we need to get Luris? I think the Luris loop is kind of our only way out of this. But I don't think we're going to dispute anything. The only one we've seen is Halvar, and there's already one in the graveyard and one on the battlefield. So I think we can crab. I mean, D stroke, not dispute.
one of our ways out of this is getting our opponent into a Luris lock. Another savior, huh? Which means we are chumping here because next turn they can give protection with the bounty and we're dead. Interesting. Whatever they have in their hand, they do not want to cast it. Never mind, it was a giant killer the whole time. Strange. Uh, no untapped land, but. Yeah. Play the Laris. I think it's got to be the Wind Robber here. So we can draw more cards. Land. And pass. Okay. We'll draw a card. Agadims. Well, that means we can let our Luris die here. Oh, Skyclaves is not quite lethal. But we can't lose our Luris, unfortunately. Hmm. So we can Agadims for two flying blockers and get one more with Luris. Let's attack with Luris first. The life gain will be important. Oh, they have first strike. Never mind. That doesn't actually work. But it doesn't really change anything. Let's see, if we Thieves Guild first and then Agadims, we can't get a Windrower back. Oh, right, Redain. Never mind. Forgot about that. Might be switching over here. I'll go for another game. Ideal, but usable, I think, with two drowns and into the story. Blue White Yorian, oh boy. Thieves Guild Enforcer is a pretty perfect draw here. Snow Blue White Yorian. Very interesting. <coughs> I think it's a Thought Thief over the Crab here. Especially since we wouldn't get the Landfall trigger from the Crab this turn. Alright. 
Alright, sky clear that, that's fine. That is on blue, so we have drown up. I think we'd trade our Thieves Guild Enforcer for the Skyclave app over a Drown. So we can effectively stop them from doing anything for quite a while here. Faceless Haven is an interesting inclusion in Blue White Yorian. I don't think we can allow that. We do need our Crab to keep going here. So saw it coming? Negate. Interesting. Maybe they take the token though. Oh, take the crab. Fine. Another thought thief is a decent draw. It gives us something to do. And then we'll have a human and a non-human. So of one mind is a very easy keep. Is Yorian. Okay. I would like to play a Thought Thief. Behold. Okay. That's fine. I only have one blue source, so they can't counter that much. I think we want to keep our drown open, so I'm not going to go for into the story here. It is possible we want to Disdainful Stroke and Drown, or into the story if they do nothing here, so we'll pay three for that. Though if they do nothing, I believe they're going to counter the end of the story, so we'll hold. What have they got here? Come on, opponent. Swift response, huh? Fine. I think here we buy Luris, hold up our counters. Omen, don't really care. <clears throat> Only thing I'm really afraid of here is if they have Yorian with counter protection. Does not appear to be their line. Uh, my turn. I will attack. Sure. May I Luris? Yes, I would like to Thieves Guild Enforcer. Pass. So 
see if they have a counter here. <clears throat> Yep. That's okay, though, we still have two into the stories. Get one off now. Uh, play Wind Rubber. Set by a main phase omen. Sure. Two top, eh? Go for our Thought Thief here. If they counter it, then we just resolve another end of the story. Foretell in response. Okay. Mystical Dispute could be big here. we go ahead and go for this while they're tapped out uh, get our castle down and I don't think we can possibly lose from this position with four counters in hand let's just try to limit their resources a bit Do they have anything to stay alive here? Shark Typhoon. Short. Uh, Heartless Act. Resolve. There we go. Very nice. 